Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all. Uh, you know, I just actually informed about the brother uh, Nabil. I know that for long that he was uh, uh, suffering from uh, cancer. And I just saw some people having comments in the text, so I wanted to uh, say some words about uh, brother Nabil. Uh, you know, actually I'm watching his video and he is, uh, I can tell he is, you know, like uh, covering from very harsh uh, surgery, fighting the cancer. But yet this brother is, you know, giving us faith and he is trying to, uh, let us say, encourage us when it should be the opposite. And this is really amazing. When you are a believer, it doesn't matter really what happened. You know, illness and diseases happen always. People live, people die. This is the nature of a human being. You know, at the end of the day, all of us, we, we end in one place. However, we as believers, we have a good place to end in. No matter how uh, fast we go there or how uh, late we go there. Some people live until they are 80. Some people live until they are 50. Some people, they don't uh, even, you know, pass to be the childhood. However, uh, Nabil Qureshi, he is a very blessed uh, person. And this person, actually, uh, when I just saw his video, I said to myself, how strong this man is. He is teaching us about miracles and telling us about a miracle when he is the one is suffering from all this uh, harsh uh, illness. And you know, you know, we know that cancer is taking millions of people every every year from uh, everywhere. You know, white, black, Christians, Muslims, Hindus doesn't matter really. Cancer is an international disease or illness, and science until now is unable to fight it really the way it should and i believe time will come and cancer will be something easy to cure from however uh, i hope that every christian who know or he heard or if you just heard of uh, brother nabil i hope that all of us we will pray for him and ask the lord to help him and to stand with him and no matter really uh, like uh, what will happen it doesn't matter really I pray that he will be with the Lord if he is in this earth or in the hereafter so you know we as a Christians we we have faith and you know we don't really we don't get worried about tomorrow but you know we get worried from uh, like illness because illness bring uh, uh, let us say sadness for people around you and uh, family and mother like imagine how how sad his mother is but a christian person always he have a good strength and the lord is always with us and death means nothing for us. And I pray that he will never, uh, uh, you know, go to that stage. But even if it happened, we are with the Lord and we are blessed. And we are blessed uh, to have Nabil. Uh, he is a wonderful person, uh, very kind. Like, you know, if you, if you listen to Nabil, uh, this guy is the kind you will love him. You know, he's not uh, like Christian Prince. Uh, I'm really touched by uh, Nabil. Work miracles. I actually got an email from a friend whose uh, neighbor, when he was young, had been run over, was the right choice, and that God will bless that decision. And that ultimately, he could even work miracles. I actually got an email from a friend whose uh, neighbor, when he was young, had been run over by a riding lawnmower. Um, and so his insides were completely messed up. They had to remove his stomach. 
um, and, and do a lot of salvaging in order to save what they could. But then miraculously, the young man's stomach regrew. Um, and this is a friend of mine who I know personally talking about her neighbor. Um, so does God. Uh, oh, I also know another miracle story similar to that, where a friend of mine, a very close <coughs> friend of mine, he's a pastor in College Station. Well, Bryan, Texas, to be exact. You know, imagine he is really uh, ill and uh, suffering with all the pain he have, but he is teaching us about miracles. This man is really amazing, and he is really a blessing to his family, to us, to uh, everyone who uh, I, I you know I, I never met him in person, and uh, I never spoke to him, like uh, not even over voice chat. Uh, but there is no question this person is a blessed, and he is a blessing for those who know him. And whatever is going to happen, my friends, um, you know, for us, the end is one. We are going to be with the Lord. But we pray, and I ask everybody really to pray from your heart. So may the Lord, he give him the help he needed. He give him the comfort for his pain, for his family, and may the Lord heal him, for he is the Lord of miracles. I have nothing really uh, uh, much to say. Uh, you know, I know people who I, you know, I pass in my life. I know them. Uh, they they suffer from cancer, and you know, uh, this is a very ugly disease. You know, it take people left and right. Uh, but the difference is for a believer that's you know it's not like the end this is maybe it is the start that i say because when we die we have a new start with our lord the lord he said whoever believe in me and die he will live uh, so let us uh, you know pray for him pray for his uh, wife uh, i don't know if he have a children's or not i have no idea really as i said i do not know really much about uh, about Nabil, but I know by the way, I know what the Muslims they will say because the Muslims are people who uh, always they have their evil thought. They will say that Allah He cursed him. My friends, do you know how many people they are speaking against your prophet every day? Um, if this is the way you, th you see it, there's nothing in you because Muslims always they are uh, they take the, the, the evil side. Uh, there is many Muslim preachers who speak against Christianity and they die like you know uh, what his name uh, did that uh, you know you can go and see his video how how uh, what happened to him is that a punishment from Allah uh, so you know uh, but Muslims they will say whatever they want to say we know it uh, but look at this brother after all the suffering he is suffering from he is teaching us. He is making a video. I mean, I don't know even how he can uh, he can handle it to speak. You know, he is teaching us about miracles. I mean, this is alone is a miracle. Uh, he should be depressed. He should be sad. He should be etc. This is what a human being he does normally, but because he have faith, he is encouraging us. And he is teaching us and how he's telling us stories about what happened to people he know. That's really amazing. Salvaging in order to save what they could. But then miraculously, the young man's stomach regrew. Um, and this is a friend of mine who I know personally talking about her neighbor. Um, so does God. Uh, oh, I also know another miracle story similar to that, where a friend of mine, a very close friend of mine, he's a pastor in College Station. Well, Brian, Texas, to be exact. But uh, his colleague, one of the pastors he works with, um, 
had a daughter who had to have a lobe of her lung removed. But um, after having it removed, when she went for a follow-up to the doctor, the doctor said, I can't explain it. I personally took this lobe out, but I'm looking at the x-ray and it has grown back. And so we know these miracles happen. Will God choose to do it for me? There's no telling, but we can ask and we can pray. Absolutely. Hi right. everyone. Uh, you know, uh, this is just a short video to share with you about my thoughts about Brother Nabil. I wish really I know where he lives. If he's close to me, I will be happy to go and meet him and sit with this amazing person. And, uh, you know, he was a blessing to many, many, many Muslims that left Islam because of his uh, testimony and teaching and etc. A very amazing person. Uh, when, when I said uh, Nabil is not like me, yeah, he's not like me. You see, Nabil is a very nice uh, person, very kind. Uh, you know, for me, when I speak to Muslims, I am aggressive. And I think you, you can tell. I'm very tough on them. So he's a very kind person, you know. He's, he's the kind, like, uh, uh, I don't know how to describe him. Very kind. <clears throat> uh this is why I'm saying he is really a, an amazing person. Like for me, when I when I debate Muslims, I I fight with them, not physically for sure. Uh, but Nabi, when he speak, is very polite. He's very nice, very kind, very uh, calm, very uh, very amazing person, really. Uh, uh, anyway. Uh, uh, you know, in this earth, there's there's millions of people they are suffering from the same kind of illness, and this is nothing new. But uh, and most actually, most of the cancer is uh, is kind of have to do with the genes. Like I mean, that the the gene you have in your body mostly you inherit things from your family, and most of those people who have cancers, they can you know, if you go and study the roots of their families, you will find that many of their families. They uh, they have cancer. Um, I wish I can do anything, and I wish all of us we can do anything. But the only thing we can do is to pray to the Lord, so He may may help him and help his family, uh, and heal him. Now, even if he if uh, uh, if that prayer is not answered, the Lord always He have His wisdom, and He choose when to take actions. Uh, so my prayer is for you, Nabil, and uh, I really feel for you. I feel for your wife, your wife and your mother, even though, uh, as I know, she's a Muslim, but uh, I'm sure she uh, she loves him very much, and uh, I really pray for her too, all right? So I have nothing really much to say except uh, to share with you this, and I hope uh, everybody of you will pray. And uh, we'll seek uh, uh, the help of our Lord. And may the Lord listen and He accept our prayer. Uh, I hope soon I will hear a better news. I heard first time Nabil he is saying that he have cancer a long time ago. And after that, I I did not hear anything until today actually. But, uh, you know, uh, this is how life, you know, you remember when Jesus said, when we, uh, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that he is not going to recover, but just to remind you of the, what the Messiah, he said. The Messiah, he said, let the dead bury the dead. You know, those who will not follow him, they are dead, they are burying the dead. But a Christian who die, he is not going to be buried and he will not be dead for he is going to live forever you see when i receive emails from muslims saying we will kill you uh, we will find you we, you know you can imagine uh, how many uh, emails i get every every day uh, i love 
because for me as a believer all their threat mean nothing to me actually it's a blessing I seriously love you know if if we are cowards neither Nabil neither me neither any of those who speak against Islam they will uh, speak against it because you know what will happen if you speak against this religion especially if you became very much speaking about it uh, so death mean nothing for us and you know the believers the apostle of the Messiah if you go and count their names you will find that each one of them was killed they've been crucified they've been tortured they've been uh, you know by the hand of the man and yet they did not leave their faith so uh, disease and illness is the last thing will make any one of us uh, not to be faithful they used to say to them if you leave a Christianity we will not kill you if not we will feed you right now to the lion to the tiger they don't care so the Lord is amazing he is so beautiful and we pray for his mercy uh, and uh, I really pray from my heart to brother Nabil and I hope that a sinner person like me uh, his prayer will be accepted uh, that's all really what I want to say and I want to say thank you guys for being here and don't forget to pray to uh, brother Nabil and to be uh, a good uh, help for his uh, family and his wife and you know pray for all of them because this is a very hard time and pray for everybody who is suffering from this uh, ugly uh, disease or illness I saw children's I saw you know I saw a commercial on TV uh, sometimes you see a child he's not even three years old and he have a cancer I mean it's ugly you know uh, so uh, thank you for being here may the Lord bless you and uh, remember please to pray thank you